Hey everyone, how you living? Hope you're alive and living color. Hope God's good to you as he's good to me. Welcome to another episode of EML 77 TV, episode 336. What's going on? Um, I'm a little bit on my own, I'm a little bit on a nostalgia trip here. And just, you know, I um, got my um, Amazon unwrapping. I already did, um, I've already unwrapped it because my an address was on the wrapping paper, so I didn't want to make sure, in the, in the package, I should say. So this one came in today. Transformers Hot Rod T-shirt. That Autobot Hot Rod mom there that has the grid back like you see in the toys and all that. I have my Hot Rod T-shirt, so I have, that's my second Hot Rod T-shirt I got. I got another one. So that was it. But that's part of um, what I want to talk about today. It's another top ten list here of my personal favorite things. And as you know, this is my top ten list. It's not like it's not from like surveys or anything like that. This is my personal top ten favorites. Now when I was a kid growing up when I was a little kid in the early days, I used to, when I lived in my old in the old neighborhood in the West End in, um, near about seven seven blocks away from Butler Park, there was a store on Court Street. I lived on Armour. There was a store. On, there was a store on Court Street. It was a variety store. Back then, it was the old school convenience store. It was called Fraser's Variety. Every Friday, my father would give me a dollar because everybody started collecting these cards. I thought they were pretty cool looking cards, but they were like crazy cards. So I figured I want to be part. You know, want to be part of the cool kids. So I went and bu- and my father would give me a dollar and go there and buy. Four packs, because each of them worth, is worth 25 cents a pack. What kind of cards were they? Garbage pail kids cards. That's right. They were the fad in. They were the fad of the 80s. And here's the thing. Cabbage Patch Kids. This, this is a parody of the Cabbage Patch Kids. And um, they were crazy. And they, and I'm sure a lot of people said, "What about for the boys?" So they decided to have a, a parody. Of the Cabbage Patch Kids get into some of some gross, sticky, icky situations, and have names on them and all that, but they're in cards, so they were the Garbage Pail Kids cards. Now, parents are grossed out by this, obviously. Girls are grossed out by it. Parents are grossed out by it. Hey, I used to collect them until I acted up in school one time, and my father made me get rid of them as punishment. Sad day, huh? Sad day. This is before parents started smashing uh, video game systems on YouTube. Just, you know, and just, you know, back then, my father made me get rid of the Garbage Pail Kids cards. I started going to church. And, um, yeah, I was not not a very happy camper, obviously. But, however, that did inspire me to to go to my other card collecting hobby. That was baseball cards. Nowadays, I collect just Red Sox cards. I'm a Red Sox fan. So, but... Why would uh, now? I was thinking about buying more, uh, buying back some garbage pail kids cards. But why do that when you got the book full of them? That's right. I have a book, all the way to I believe the fifth series. I do believe. Yep, I think it's all it's all the way up to the fifth series, the first five series of uh, yeah series. Of course, there were compilation uh, series one through series five from 1985. In 1986, okay, this is what it says here on the, on the uh, in cover here. Garbage Pail Kids, a series of collectible stickers produced by Thompson in the 1980s, combined spectacular, ah, spectacular artwork and over the top sapphire. The result was an inspired collaboration between avant garde cartoonists and humorists, including Art Spiegelman, Mark Newgarden, John Pound, Tom Bunk, and Jay Lynch. This first ever compilation of series 1 through 5, series 5. 1985 and 1986 so celebrates this pop culture phenomenon, including images of all 206 rare and hard to find stickers. So, out of these 206 cards in this crazy book, I only found 10 of them that I like. Now, these 10 to me, I I try to find the ones that are like less gross, less gory. You know, a lot, a lot of stuff. It's so it's like. Close to less gross and less glory, but still funny in a way. So, what I did was I am going to say each one, and then I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this book. I'm going to put this board down after this and look for them and show you what they look like. So, 
you know, just for those who don't know what Garbage Pail Kids cards are. So, but you saw, you know, the iconic uh, Adam Bomb Blasted Billy uh, part of the card that was in the first series. So, these are my top ten favorite Garbage Pail Kids cards. So, the first, okay, number ten is Rappin' Ron and Ray Gun. All right, and that's card number 46 in the second series. Let me look that up. It's a lot of fun doing this. Let me see. Card number 46. Okay. Mm. Ah, here we go. Uh, next to my friend Disgusting Justin here. So this is the one. It's Rappin' Ron, and it has Ray Gun as the B-side. Because they have an A and a B-side type deal. So this is Rappin' Ron. That's number 10 on the... Back then, Ronald Reagan was the president of the United States. Hence, the, the, you know, Reagan, you know, I don't. All right, number nine, is, okay, it goes to series three, Target Margaret Bullseye Berry. You know, for game show fans, Bullseye Berry. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Think about that one, kids. Think about that one. But that's not what it looks like, so we're going to go and let's see. Yep, here it is. Another one, right next to Frankenstein and her undead Jed. Target, Margaret, and Bullseye Barry at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. Bullseye Barry. It's Target, Margaret, right there. That's Target. That's Target, Margaret. All right. Now, let's um, let's continue on with number eight. New Wave Dave Graffiti P. Number 30 in this first series. We're going to go back to the first series. I'm going to tell you what. Uh, yep. I used to collect these things. They used to have, uh, freaking, um, excuse my language. Uh, uh, they used to have gum in there. Didn't like the gum. I wasn't a fan of the gum. Was like, Alright, here it is. New Wave Dave Graffiti PD. That's number 30. And it's number 8 on my list of favorite Garbage Pail Kids cards. Alright, number 7. We're going to go to Series 4 on this one. Um, uh, Warren Warren, um, Warren Warren. And Brett Vett. Seven and six are almost the same. So, okay, that's 156 Series 4. Um, that's number seven, Warren Warren, Brett Vett. Let's go. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, and, yeah, um, 156. So we're getting near there. We're getting near there. We're getting near. Yeah, here it is. All right, there it is. Here is Warren Warren with uh, Brett Vett. That's number... Um, seven on the list of uh, Garbage Pail Kids cards of my favorites, of my personal favorite. You know? All right, number six is Mean Gene. Probably not Mean Gene Oakland guy's name. You probably, they probably look at the Garbage Pail Kids card and go, that's what you are, Mean Gene. Uh, or, and Jolton Joe, and that's like Jolton Joe Gimaggio. And it is number 41, and we're going back to series one, the first series on this one. So we're going to do that. As the, that's the last one on the series. So we're going to go back. And let's see what we got here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, here it is. Mean, Mean Gene and Jolton Joe. I thought it was pretty funny. So, so that's number six. Number all right, number five. Jolted Joel and Live Mike. Number fifty-three in the second series. So we're gonna go to the second series now, and uh, I'm almost there. There we go. This one's pretty funny though. He's like, "Yo, too too much electricity." And they got the guitar. There's Jolted Joel and Live Mike. Okay, that's a pretty funny one. And, this, and number four, we're going back to the series one. And this one, TV Stevie and Geeky Gary. Num that's number ten on series one. Let's go for TV Stevie and Geeky Gary. Uh, let's see. You know. There we go. Okay, here we go. And there, there, whoop, whoop, whoop. the fan is really. The fan, that's really funny. You get, the, you get the gum inside the cover. Um, there, okay, here it is. TV Stevie, Geeky Gary. There it is, TV Stevie and Geeky Gary. That's number four on the list. Number three, we're going back to this list again. 
Uh, Silent Sandy, Baron Aaron, number 104 in the third series, okay? The, la the last, um, the top three are in series three, so we're going to we're gonna do this. So here we go. Um, 104, 104, 104, 104, 104. Okay, here we go. Silent Sandy, Baron Aaron, there it is. Silent Sandy and Baron Aaron. Oh, you guys can look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, number three, and uh, number two, I should say. We're keeping it in series three. Uh, number two, Hothead Harvey and Roy Bott. And uh, let me see, Hothead Harvey and Roy Bott. We're going to go back to. Ah, here we go. Looks pretty cool. Looks like a tra oh, tra now. Remember now. Bear in mind the reason why this one came out because Transformers was a huge hit in the '80s. So, so there it is. Hothead Harvey, Roy Bot, and looks like a Transformer definitely. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, now the number one, my favorite all time garbage pail kids card is Eerie Eric and Berserk Kirk. Why? Because your your my name is on Eerie Eric, and uh, I gotta uh, find this 116. Series 3, and let's see if we can get going here right now. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Eerie Eric. I think y'all can find me a pretty, pretty eerie myself. And that's just pretty funny. What I did was I photoshopped my, um, I had the beast mug. And put it on, put it in his face right here to make it look, make it even funnier. So that's what I did. I think I don't know if I still have that pickup. It is pretty funny. So Eerie Eric, there it is, Eerie Eric. All right, let's let's recap the um, top ten favorite uh, Garage Bells kids cards. Uh, number ten, Robin Ron Ray Gun from the second series. Number forty six. Uh, number nine, Target Margaret Bullseye Berry. Number one hundred eleven in series three. New Wave Dave and Graffiti PD, number 30 in the first series. Number 7, Warren Warren and Brett Vett, number 156 in the fourth series. Number 6, Mean Gene and Jolton Joe, number 41 in uh, series 1. That was the final card in series 1. Uh, number 5, Jolton Joe and Live Mike, number 53 in the second series. Uh, number 4, TV TV and Kiki Gary, number 10 in series 1. Uh, number 3, Silent Sandy and Baron Aaron, number 104, series 3. Uh, also on Series 3, um, number 87, Hothead Harvey and Roy Butt comes in at number 2. And my number 1 personal favorite, Garbage Bell Kids card. Because why? Because my name's in it, Eerie Eric and Berserk Kirk, 116 in Series 3. I would have to, um, do I have, if I have an honorable mention, if there was like a dishonorable mention, I should say, it would be Matt Quack and Foul Rowl. And I'm going to try to find that one because I know it's in here somewhere. And a couple of them I like. They were pretty funny. Um, there, there was one I think that inspired me to collect baseball cards, if I can find it. And uh, <laughs> let's see if uh, okay. Uh, this one I think this one that inspired me to collect baseball cards. Mark Malfil, uh and uh, Toothless. I think it was pretty funny. Uh, uh, let's see where, which, which other ones were pretty fun, uh, pretty funny now, you know and. Uh, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. Here it is. Uh, here's 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 one. Um, that should have been one of my favorite. Not this one. Not this one here, because it looks it looks like a Donald Duck, a Foul Raul, and Mac Quack. That was the one I liked. That was another honorable mention. So two honorable mentions for sure. For sure. And uh, let's see if. Uh, all right. And the funny one is Horny How. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I heard the word horny. I'm like, didn't know what horny meant until I'm like, oh, I get it. So, I, got, cause I thought horny was like a funny word, you know. And I, and when I was a kid, I didn't know what it, what it really meant until I found out. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm gonna see what I can find it in here because that was another, that was one because it is pretty funny. And. uh And uh, let's see if I can find it. I know it's here somewhere, that's for sure. I know it's in here. And. Ah, here it is. Horny How. <laughs> he, he's a Rudy Toot. And, and you figured. 
<laughs> it's like when I first heard Horny How, it sounded innocent back in the day, but then nowadays, it's, you know, like, oh, oh. I feel like Bull Shannon from Night Court saying that. Ew. Okay, you know, it's like, okay, I know what horny means, we can't use that word anymore. <laughs> you know, imagine it's like somebody say, you know, imagine somebody say, uh, says to you, you see that girl over there, I'm horny, so you're going you're gonna to stretch out your mouth and make, and make it into the horn? <laughs> and probably look at you goes, you probably collect garbage pail kids cards. So, that's my first time I heard the word horny, it's like, if, if you don't know what, if you don't know the real meaning of the word horny, that means you're a garbage pail kid, kids card fan. <laughs> so that means if you don't know the real m m meaning of the word horny, you know that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that's the that's the fun stuff. Okay, the fun stuff's over. In fact, that's all the time we have on the show. Dang, flab it! I dropped the dropped my st stupid marker. Just give me a second here, folks. Ah, ah. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, I'm feeling Urkel here. <laughs> Has somebody? Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, comedy at its finest. Not really, but all right. That's all the time we have on the show. God's life, love, and light, and blessings to all of you. Catch you on the flip side, and remember, pay attention. You might learn something. Also, we cannot change our past, but we can change our present state to work for a better future. Episode 336, I'm done. No nostalgia trip. Got my hot rod shirt. Gave you my favorite um, favorite cards from Garbage Pail Kids back in the day. I'm so nostalgic. I'm a nostalgic freak. It's not even funny. What am I talk about in the next episode? I don't know. I got a lot of stuff here on the docket. See you guys later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace!